So as you can see, you're gonna learn how to make a turret animation in Blender just like this. So if you're excited, go ahead and hit that like button and let's get into it. So here I am in Blender, I'm using version 3.2.2 and we got Mr. Default Cube right here. So let's go ahead and select and press X, delete, bye bye. And now let's go ahead and press Shift A. We're going to be adding a plane not the plane in the air, the one on the square. And let's go ahead and press S to scale. Number two, make it a little bigger. Then we can tap into edit mode, press E to extrude it, and we can just bring it up about like right here. Distance wise, I mean, you can see on the left, it's like one ish, one plus meters. But let's just do probably like 1.5. Yeah, about 1.5. Get as close as you can. Not, doesn't be perfect, but for the sake of it, about that size, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tab back into edit mode. Now we're going to do Command R or Control R depending on Windows or Mac. And we're going to make some loop cuts. All right, so first off, if you have the external mouse, you can use the scroll wheel to make two right here. And if you don't, usually if you well, before you click, you'll have the option where you can add the, um, or after you click, you can see loop cuts like that. So let's do two like that. Command R or Control R again. Scroll on the opposite side and do two loop cuts like this. And now you can see this is what we got going on so far. And then I want to actually, let me select all these first. And pretty much I want to go to seven and just press scale it in and make it like, you know, a little pyramid uh, base looking size. And we could probably go a little more inside. It's S, just moving it like that, okay. So for the most part, I got the little base guy right here. So now what I want to do is I want to extrude these faces out. So let me just select my guy right here. And this is on the green line, so this is the Y axis. So I press extrude and then Y and then minus 0.5. Now I'll have my mans like this. And then we'll do the same over here. E, Y, and then this time we need 0.5 is going on the bottom or this side. And then for the X, let's do this side, E, X and let me see I think it's 0.5 there we go and then this one E X minus 0.5 now this is literally just for aesthetic you don't have to do this part you can keep it as you want but then I want to add additional loop let me go back to the vertices mode and I want to have like a line like here and then one going across here so pretty much we'll do control R command R and then I'll do another loop cut right there and then same on this side right here. Now you could technically cut this in half and mirror it as well, but since it's such a simple uh, model, I'm just gonna do it off sides like this and then another like that. So basically you want I wanna have, be able to select these uh, right here, these faces, and then do that across the four to where we have like a design there. So that's pretty much what we got so far. And then I could actually select these faces right here as well. So shift clicking all of them, that way you can select multiple ones at once. Press I to inset it and then scroll it in just a little bit and then you can press E to extrude and you notice that you can't extrude it. So what you can do is press escape, option E or alt E depending on your key, um, computer. Extrude faces along normals and now you can go out, but let's make this indent a little bit, just slightly and that's what we got so far okay so now i'm gonna go back onto this green line so we're on this facing this access pretty much where the camera is at and then press zero to get out of the camera view and now we can go over here so zoom out a little bit shift right click shift a now to add we can add a another plane tab edit mode we can extrude this up about here Go to, uh, tab back to object, go to seven. Let's uh, do shift Z. And basically this will be the center of the square. So I wanna move, press G and move it to where the orange dot is right in the center. And then tab, or not tab, go back to object mode again. Shift Z to get back out of it. And then we can just press S to scale it. And we'll do probably like right about here. And then we could pretty much tab back into edit mode. I could probably move this up again, at least it's GZ, about that height. And then we can scale it again, just like we did before. And I'll keep it right about there. So that's a little top base thing here. 
and then I can do shift right click again shift a this time well actually my bad we got to go back to object mode make sure we are in object mode now I can do shift a cylinder and then we'll do GZ let's do one okay so now we're like this press 7 scale it down a little bit I want to be inside of this square and then do shift Z again to go to uh, basically wireframe before shading right here and then G move it right into the center like that shift Z and I can right click shade smooth then I can go to this green little triangle option go here to normals auto smooth okay and now we can actually see it's a little bit above so let's do press one first again this view G and then Z go down and let's put it a little bit inside so now if you hit, um, hit shift Z you'll see that lines within it so we should be good to go so in terms of this I mean it's probably a little thicker than I want it to be so s scale it down and then we can do scale Z actually make it a little taller and go back to one GZ and we can tweak this later but for the most part this is like the current base and then I'm going to shift right click again on top of this shift a this time we're gonna add a cube okay and we'll do GZ yeah right about but on the top we'll edit that in a second and then now what I want to do is tap into edit mode first off I want to select this option here select the um, edges and then we'll do G Y and I'll bring it back a little bit and then I want to select the face click here press I inset it option E or alt E along normals shoot it and bring it inwards and then pretty much tab out and now you can actually edit this more if you'd like to if you want to uh, for example click on this face and scale it in scale it out but I actually want to click on uh, these two edges and let's see scale a little bit and then let's see maybe these bottom ones right here we can scale these out too again this is just all preference up to you but for the most part this is basically like what's gonna have our essentially the turrets on the side and then let's go ahead and let me shrink this a little bit just like that press 1 shift Z and let's go back to 7 I want to make sure I'm in the center so I'm not in the center so G put the orange dot right in the center now you can press 1 shift Z and then we can take a look make sure it looks like it's nice and even and then make sure you go ahead and save your project so basically you can do control s command s so once you have saved it then we can go ahead and continue so first off we can start naming stuff so we can say this be like the base this can just be i mean tell i just call it as base two for simplicity's sake but i'm pretty much doing this because um I just want to make sure I know which one's the turn options and which one's like my life and stuff. And then here, I mean, you can just call this like top. So pretty much this is the turret right now. You can change the names, whatever you want to. But what we want to add is the parts that is the most important. And first of all, I want to check something. So I want to click here, rotate by pressing R and Z. And it looks like everything's good. So I press escape. So now I can do shift right click here. And then I can do shift A. We can add a cube. We can scale the cube down and move it about like right here. G and then X over. And I want to have it just enough to where it's touching, but not all the way. And then I want to rotate it X. And let's do, let's see, let's do minus 10. That way everyone can copy this. And let's see how that looks. Go to three. Actually, let's do probably just control Z or command Z that. Let's do rotate X minus five. So minus five so far, this is what I like minus five better. Again, it's preference. And then let me go over here. You can see it's not, it's like kind of touching. So actually I want to make this again, let's tap back into mode. 
make sure you have edge select this and let's just scale these back in make it a little more straighter there we go tab neck out so now if i'm going here shift z i can see the edge exactly all right there we go so now we can click on my little cube man right here this will just be the we'll just call it this i'll call it the the laser laser l yeah tell them this would be yeah the left side yep and then scale it on the y and we'll make it let's see probably like yeah about like right here we can tweak that in a second but now i want to go ahead and we got to add a cylinder so let's do shift right click right here shift a let's go to cylinder let's just say smooth right away go here to auto uh this option normals auto smooth rotate x 90 scale this bad boy right in here rotate x minus five first off to make sure we're there go back to one view gx to move it make it in the center and let's see thickness wise uh let's do make it a little bigger so let's just s to scale it a little bit wider there we go one and for the most part i like that position you can adjust it if you like s now to scale y to make it longer move it about like here and then g and then we'll do double z and check that out now we can move it along this axis boom and then zoom back out now if you wanted to you could actually bevel this too if you want to so tap here command b or control b and then on your scroll wheel you can actually bevel it like this so we can just do that just show you change it up like that want to auto smooth it you could but right now keep it like this and then and for this one we can do shift d and then g double z move it up like this scale it on the y make it a little shorter then scale it larger just general s and on the side view is what we got going on so far and make it a little bit bigger and then shift z to make sure we're inside okay yeah, so we're touching there so that's good and now we can tap edit mode go to face select here press i we can insert slightly press e to extrude it and we'll bring it let's see bring it back like right about there tab now out back to objects and that's what we got so far so first off let's name these so this will just be like laser tip or i guess say laser n technically this could be like the laser uh let's see mid this technically is the left side so for the laser end i'm gonna go back and add the l just for tutorial sake and this will be like just the laser base yeah so that's fine so now if i go like this rotate it z you can see nothing happens so press escape so we're gonna select this guy shift select then shift select make sure this is the last one command p or control p keep a uh, pair right there so now if i rotate r by pressing r and then z you'll see it moves perfectly and then when i have this guy selected i can do shift select this middle base now this top guy control p or command p again object and now if i do r z this time check it out look at that and then if I do RX, moving it up, yes, let's go. Okay, so now we can save this. And now, let's go ahead and uh, select this uh, right here, this piece, and that's essentially the, um, the middle part. We're gonna do Shift D, and this is going to separate it now. And then I'm going to press Escape, and then I'm gonna press S to scale it and make it smaller. And then I'm going to, let's do scale Y just like this. Make it a little bit smaller, so like just like that. And then scale Y like this. And then let's go into our parents because it's gonna be within this. And this is right now, we gotta double click this, just call this like ammo L. Okay, so now that we have this selected, first off, I wanna do all peer option P and I wanna clear the parent. And now when I rotate this, you can see it's separated. So if you want to hit here and edit it and everything, you can. 
But let's do command Z or command Z again. I want to make this actually within it. So I don't want to clear the parent. So just control Z or command Z. If you don't know how to do that, go to edit and just undo it to where now when you go RZ, that the ammo is still technically inside there. So make sure it's still parented. And then that way, when we actually do make the animation, it's going to move within and rotate properly. So now all we need to do is go press one here. Let's select this guy, this guy, this guy, and then you can select by clicking it again, double click, and now you can get the ammo too. If not, you can just go here and select all like that. Press one. So now if I move G, you can see it clearly has everything selected, or you can just literally go Shift Z and select it, highlight like that. Like this, it selects the same thing. Then, this time we're gonna do Option D. This way it's a link duplicate. So Option D, G, X, Move it over right about, let's see, GX a little bit, yep, there we go. And you guys can tweak it up too, but for the most part, now we have this. So now if I rotate Z, look at that, look at this. Okay, so now we can go RX, moving, everything's moving. Okay, perfect, so far, so good. So now let's save this. And let me go into this option right here. And now I want to go ahead and add in the colors for my guy right here. So first things first, let's go ahead and click on this base. We'll tab into edit mode. And then I'll go over here. And now I'll go ahead and add in our colors. So first thing is I'm going to just press A. And we're going to select everything on this base of our turret. We're here on this little word icon, press new. And then I'm going to just call this uh, just black for now. Click base color, go all the way down, make it black. And then I'm gonna make the, let's see, roughness, you know, like about, let's just do 0 0.875. Metallic, I'm making a little more metallic and also uh, specular. And then if we go here into our render engine cycles and then technically if I go to this main view we can't see it right now so I'm gonna do shift a let's add a let's see where's it at light Sun G over here bring it up let's do like let's see 10 maybe even 20 okay so far G move it down yeah, so far, I'll keep it like this. We're actually going to change the background to what we're seeing. So let's see. Let's go to our little world with the little line icon. Change this to full black now. Okay, there we go. So now, select it again. Tab back into edit mode. And again, if your computer is a little slow, switch your view back to EV so you can see better. But I'm doing it because the certain calls I'm doing, you won't be able to see the effect unless you're in cycle. So now we're going to select. Let me go here and be easier to see. Select this guy right here. So basically shift select all the faces. And then I want to select all of these pieces right here. So technically, shift Z, you can see it's covered, but again, it just depends on your sign. So let me see, select this guy right here, select here. All right, let's do shift Z again, it's hard to see, but basically all these pieces. Typically, I would have had this selected too but since it's covered, it's really optional, but I'm gonna do it just for the um, sake of it. Ah, uh, hold on, Control Z back. Make sure you're holding Shift or else it's gonna unselect everything. Shift Z, make sure I select this guy, there we go. And then here, let's see, Shift here. Oh wait, no, hold on, Shift Z. Unselect that guy by just holding Shift and then let's do, let's see, this one. So make sure you have all these guys highlighted and if you misclick, just do Control Z or Command Z to get back to where it's at. Press the plus sign, new. Principle was switching the surface and we're gonna actually choose glass for this one. Roughness, let's do one. IOR five, color. And we're gonna make it like a yellowish color right here. If you want the exact hex code, technically you could copy, but just bring it in this general area and then you hit a sign. So now if we go to the full render, now we can see this is what it currently looks like. 
Now let's press zero again. Let's tab or not zero. Let's tab back out of edit mode. And this is what it currently looks like. So now it doesn't look the exact same because I actually went ahead and added a light. So let's do shift a light point. And let's see, let's do, let's do a thousand really quick. And let's see, let me move it inside. Press one, G in here, press three, G inside. So one, three, so now we can see it's in here. So now, I mean, we could technically change this color to like an orangish, orangish, reddish color like that. And now you can see this, how I got the little like glowish effects. And then we can select our base, uh, click right here and basically just click on black right there. And then we can go and select this guy, click right here and material. And let me see, let's do, one, two, well, I need more lighting first, but for now, let's keep it like this. Cause I want to do shift A, actually, yeah, let's do this. Shift S, let's do cursor to origin, shift A, let's do mesh plane, S, let's do like 10. And then I want to make this, let's see, I'll make a new material. This will just be all black, except, let's see, make it, Metallic, specular, roughness. Let's go really high on the roughness. We probably do, let's just put like 0.8. And then let's just scale this up much larger. Like this, so when you go in the, when you go in the camera view and then we can do shift, left asterisk right by the one. And then we can move it around and see this is what we got so far. And then let's click on this, but actually I wanna do, um, let's do this. I wanna make this have a little more design so we can see, let's do, let's see, shift select. Well actually no, we can do tab, edit mode, control R, command R, one loop cut, two just like that. And then tab back at object, same thing here. Uh, tab edit mode, loop cut, click it, drag it like up here. Same thing here, tab, loop cut, drag it like right there. So now if I go back to our render, select this guy, and let's do, let's see, let's make him yellow. Same thing here, same thing here, except now, like tab here, I'm going to, where's it at? Tab edit mode new and then we're gonna face select and in order to select all these we can just press option like that and click over here so now if we shift z you can see i have everything on this square selected click my guy right here make it black assign tab there we go so now we got a little little honeybee bumblebee looking design same thing here option select it plus sign Click here, change it to black, then assign it. And since it's uh, a link duplicate, now you can see the other side actually gets uh, colored as well. So if I were to go like this side, you can see it a little better. Then here, tab, option, select, new. Let's click here, black, assign, tab in. And that's what we got so far like this. And then if I go to cycles, you can see it's looking like that. So you could go in here and color this part too if you wanted to. Then same thing here, let's go, let's see, let's do black here. Tab edit, select this face, if you can't see it, it's right here. Go into, let's go with this view. Plus, assign this material, select it, and let's go back here. And now this is what we currently got so far. So then if I wanted to, I can go ahead and press, and press zero real quick. And I think the last one was the ammo. So if I go in here, if I G, it looks like this. So we could tell you make this the material as well. So now if I G it, you can see it looks like that. But actually, I want to make this not the material. I want to make a, a new emission, make it like yellow too, except this one, I'm going to do like, um, let's try 20. 
Yeah, see that? See that I was glowing like that? So I like this one. And then we can add in our lighting. So Shift A, let's add some more lights. Let's do point light, 1000, GZ. Let's bring it up about, I wanna put one inside of my guy too right here. Probably do like 100. <clears throat> yeah, let's see how that looks. Yeah, just to add like that little glow effect. And I wanna do now go back to zero. Get out of camera view. Let's do risk right click, shift A light. Let's do an area light, GZ. Bring it up, go to seven, scale it up here. Let's see, let's do 500 for right now. G, bring it over, double R. And we could technically rotate it like this. See how that looks. Let's go back seven. Yeah, let's put this guy in the front because I want this um, rotate this like face of it to look a little bit more bright. We can probably do a thousand. Now here you can play around with the lighting, but for the most part, I want to have that like glow effect. And then we'll just save this really quick. And now what I want to do is actually make the animation. So one thing too, we could probably, let me see where's my other lights. Should be here tab, no, hold on, this one. Okay, yeah. So let me do Shift D, move it up here. See how it's looking. Put this like 500 maybe, just so the face has some glow to it. That I like this so far. And the reason it's glowing is because this color again is like this like little glass effect, right? Because if you were to go to EV, you wouldn't see, it wouldn't be the same at all. <laughs> like significantly different. So we'll save it here. And now let me show you how to do this animation. Now there's multiple ways and you can make it extremely complicated and then doing other things, but this is the easiest. So far, if we were to press this R and Z, for the most part, it pretty much moves how I want it to move. So let me go into EV so we can see this. And now, Right here, I just brought up, this is essentially the uh, animation keyframes option where you can see pretty much where we're gonna go. So for this, let's make uh, this one, let me see, let's go, go to this this little like printer looking option and go to frame and let's make this, let's do 40 frames right now. I wanna make it super basic. And again, just note, depending on your computer speed, the longer your animation is, significantly longer than it take. But the animation you saw in the beginning of this video took at least my computer, quite a few hours, so just remember to keep that in mind. But um, basically, so this is how it works. I like to select everything that's not in the view of my animation and hide it, so press H. So that way I can just select what I'm gonna actually animate. And then I can press, for now let's do, just select all of these guys. Shift select, make sure we have everything highlighted. And just, just the top view, technically you don't have to select this guy, but let me see, hold on. Just select up here, okay, shift Z. And then I can press I on the keyboard, and basically just do rotation, rotation scale. So pretty much everything, is, this is the standard, this is the first frame. So now, if I go to like the, let's go to the 10th frame, for example. If I select this middle face, rotate Z, and if I move it to like the right, and then I press I and just change the rotation. Now you can see if I reset it back to zero, now it moves just like that. So maybe we could actually increase this to like 50 maybe. So now it rotates here. And then right when it rotates, I want this to fire off, but I wanna have a cool little, uh, like, a, like a recoil effect. So I can select this and this option. If I do G double Z, right now see it's gonna move that way. But if I do double Y or just press Y, it moves like this. But the problem is first off, I need to uh, confirm this is the first base level. So I have to say I right here. And let me just do lo uh, location. Tell me, yeah, I'm just gonna do location because I'm not gonna move the scale or anything. So now when it gets up to the 12th keyframe, I'll, I'll probably adjust this later. Now it's gonna do the effects. Cause if I don't put this a uh, keyframe here, it's gonna run this little um, recoil effect throughout up to here. So you'll see what I mean if you try it without it. Let's go to like 14, G, 
let's do let's see double y move it up like this i location and then i can actually copy this one on the 12 because i already had it in the original form shift d move it to like 16. so we'll just readjust in a second but basically now if i move it you can see that you see that effect so if you want to increase the slowness of it you can drag these out but basically again also your frame rate if you have it on 24 or 30 30 typically and 60 is typically even more like um super detailed but basically for tutorial sake we we'll keep it here but basically every frame of 24 essentially is a second so if you go here boom you want to make it faster drag them inside i'm gonna get slower drag it like like this. So now you why watch watch how slow it is. See how slow motion that was? So command Z, control Z. So now this is basically the recoil effect. I like this. So now what I want to do is I want to double click into here. And let me see if I can get my ammo guy. Shift oh no. Shift Z. So let's do this. It's easier if I go like this and then I go and select it through the ammo. So I'll go back to laser L. This is laser two. And I'll do command and click click right here. So now I got my two pieces of ammo. So now technically on the 12th frame, let's see. 12 is where they, they started. I'm gonna press I and I'm gonna do location. And then so now that recoils 15, I'm gonna do G and let's do let's see double Z. And let's just shoot it out just just to show you real quick i location so now if i go here boom okay so it stops there so if you're like oh i messed up i don't want it to be right there you can actually go back to the exact frame you just keyframed g double z move it out and you pretty much you just want to do it outside of the camera view and then i can press i again location so now if i go to the camera press zero shift left arrow to reset the entire thing click out boom boom just like that so now that was quite fast but that's just how we have it. now if you're like uh, oh I don't want this to be at the same time well that's perfect so instead what you could do is you could select one that you don't want so this one and you could literally just click it and just drag it according to when you want it so now you can see it's like this boom but they technically will stop here, but in the actual view, when you see it, it's not the same. So I'll probably move it like here. So it'll be like slow motion there, just like that. So now if I were to see this in the camera view, shift back to make it a little bit more wide so you can see better. Boom, boom, just like that. And then the way I resetted this was, because I know someone's probably gonna ask like, how do you reset the positioning? If I shift D, the original first keyframe, if I go like this now, well actually let me do Shift Z. Make sure I just have both of them selected. Actually, yeah. Hold on one sec. Make sure we we're just right. Okay, yeah. Select so both of your actual ammo. Click the first keyframe, Shift D it, and then do it to where you want it to end. So now technically what happens is it looks like this. But see how slow it is? So the way you have to do it, you have to do it exactly like right when it gets to the thing. So if you look at it from slow motion, you can see like the the far left one right here, or the technically this is the right one, it's resetting like instantly, right? Boom. So that means I misclicked on this this uh, left one it needs to go. I have to set, uh, click this one separate, and then basically I need to shift D drag this one right here. Okay, so there you go. That was messing it up. So now, boom. Okay, that makes sense because I, I really had to separate animations for each ammo. So that's why it was the the left the left one right here was looking weird. So okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, see see how that resets instantly. So now, if I want to, let's go. Let's see. Go back to zero or out of camera view. Zoom in. So now we're right. Let me click on my guy right here. We're like this. Boom. Recoils. And then I could technically let's see. I'm gonna shift D, keep this to probably the 18. And then I wanna rotate Z again. Let's do, let's see. We could go crazy and go like fully back like this. And then press I and change rotation. 
and now you can see how fast it is so I want to make this like really kind of slow so G let's do like 40 yeah so now boom bam okay there we go so now I could technically shift select these guys again select D shift D 40 right here let's do 41 so now boom bam see see because we already had the same exact animation bam and then recalls here so now I need to tap I need to get the ammo piece right here so double click that one and then command or control this one and then let's do let's see G double Z and we'll just move these guys right here so now I can press I location so let's see how this looks boom so now we need to select this shift D until we get to here and now that's a little too fast so let me go see yeah so that was it's pretty fast so tell me if you want to go like 60 and drag this out a little bit more maybe, maybe even 55 let's keep it at 55 right now bring this to like 54 so now boom yeah, it's a little too slow <laughs> let's keep it like right here bam okay so now I'll go to zero let's see how this looks on camera view let's select everything Let's do option H to unhide everything here. This uh, subdivision surface. Oh, actually, technically we're not even in cycle. That's why. Go here to cycles. Now we'll press play. Bam, bam, and let's go back to EV. <laughs> Can't see it. Just try to make it sure everything looks good. And for the most part, the generalization of this animation, it's just there. If you want to make things a little more complicated, you can go to the animation tab, use the graphs and the charts and stuff. But um, for the most part, this is just literally just using keyframes. And then let's go back into cycles. You can go here, boom, bam, boom. Okay, so now we can go here to our render. And depending on your computer, if you can do max sample, I just did at mine, I was just 512 on the actual render. So if you can go to the viewport, you can um, decreases too. But um, I use 512. Again, computer, depending on the speed, you can upgrade that. You can change the lighting up, the colors too. And then for this, go right here to the render. It depends, again. So the easiest way to do it is you name your file here. You change this to FFMPG video. But again, there is ways where you write it, you do it as like um, pictures and then you can put that into an edit which is safer if anything gets corrupted or your computer crashes which I would recommend if you have that problem and then for encoding change this to mp4 or mpeg-4 apple quality and you can change this upwards to higher quality etc and then for the most part these are just additional settings but that's basically all you need to do and then you can actually go here render animation and then you have your little turret animation so if you enjoyed this and want to see more make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one